so I'm just starting to get some sun. The sun's over there, so I left my uh, solar panel covers hanging down to be in the shade. And uh, yeah, I guess I'm just going. Right. Several hours to go. Rough game plan is conserve as much energy on the way there and then probably come back a little faster. It's supposed to be sunny all day today. Looks like that is the case so far. to my destination with full batteries so I'm not gonna use them much on the way there I'm using them a little bit right now because the Sun's low in the sky and I want to go a little bit faster uh, hopefully in an hour I'll be able to turn off the batteries and just run on the direct solar and let the batteries charge back up for whatever I'm using right now You know, I have a little bit of wind right now, and I'm seeing these things get pushed on. If I just had a string up there pulling the front in, I could use these as sails. I do have a piece of string. There. Now if I get any more breeze like that, it'll give me some propulsion. I can just hold the rear one with my hand. Right up here, there's a strip of mangroves like a mile or two wide. There's a hole somewhere, and I just saw a, a guy in a Cayuco, a dugout canoe, go past, and I'm pretty sure he's heading for the hole, so I'm following where he just went. Normally, I don't even try to find the hole. You'll, you'll see, it's like invisible until you're right up to it. Uh, I just got a radio call that I forgot the phone. Good! I don't want a stinking phone! Hello. Uh, I do kind of need to call someone when I get to where I'm going. I'll figure it out. I think this is it. The hole. Uh, is that the hole or is it somewhere over here more? Okay, remember what that looks like. <laughs> like everything else. I just remembered that uh, I put multiple holes in the hole for these things so I can move the pontoons forward and back a bit. And by moving this one forward a little, because these are tilted, it raises this pontoon. Long story short, the boat's tilting to the right slightly. So it's aiming at the sun a bit. And I did notice a slight increase in speed. Maybe I should put more of those holes. Get some more leaning action. That would, seems to work pretty well. Just rounded a little island, and I can see town ahead. That's uh, pretty far still. Just kill my motor for a minute. It is high tide, so I should be fine. Yeah, starting to get deeper already. All right, I think I'm good. I think it's time to kill the motor for the rest of the way there. Switch us back here somewhere. No, not kill the motor, just kill the batteries. Yeah. So, now one panel's charging, the other three are driving. And I will very slowly accelerate the rest of the way there as the sun gets higher.
be really cool to have right now. Like I'm miles from anything but water. It'd be really nice to have a pirate spyglass or a more modern version would be cool too. I wonder if I can, I wonder if I can get my hands on one if I tell someone I'll, I'll do a review for it. Okay, okay, okay. Someone's already sending me one to do a review. Actually, there's a chance it'll be here today and I can pick it up today. Yeah, this, it might be there by now. When I was using batteries earlier, I got down to 26.4 volts. Now I'm back up to 26.9. 27.1 is as high as it'll charge with the current setup. up ahead on the left. I'll detour a little to get a look at them. Uh, I think I passed them, but they didn't come back up. in the water. I'm guessing a sailboat sank. And then over here, this is this huge looking boat. Looks like it's beached. Here's that mast. It looks like it was a decent sized boat. I don't think I have time to go look. Here you go, look at this one. Wow, this is this trash. Man, that thing got annihilated. Probably some parts on there worth scrounging. In a few years, I want to start doing salvage operations now and then when stuff like this comes up. That only took me a little bit out of the way. Just around this corner in another mile, maybe? I just saw two huge blocks of styrofoam over there on the shore. I don't think I have space to pick it up today though. Here's a pretty good example of why I don't want to put steel reinforcement in anything. I don't know if you can see it very well. I see a lot of this stuff though. They probably did a pretty good job of these. They don't look very old, but I can see rust spots in a few of them, and that just means the steel inside is expanding. It's gonna crack those concrete things right open. look good. Solar panels look good. Batteries are fully charged. I'd call that a perfect performance. Hopefully it goes that well on the way home. All right, let's see if I can find the guy I need to pick up all this stuff. Oh, it looks so lonely over there. I'll be right back, dude. Oh, coolness.
Oh good, it's still there. <laughs> oh, apparently I still had a few boxes of stainless bolts on their way. And oh, I have lots of stuff. All right. This is like a third of it. <laughs> well, I wanted a real test. Two more light boxes. Hopefully I can stuff them somewhere in the back. Ooh, riding low. But, I mean, this should be all fine. Just hope that rivet up there doesn't leak. Should be all right. All right, everything's in the boat, including me. We're not sinking. All right. Oh, let's make sure I'm steering the right way before we do this. Let's bust out of here. Yeah, all right, where do I put this? I think this is the thing I was talking about on the way here, the, my spyglass. All right, I think that can just go right there. Riding a little low. I think I'm actually a little bit front heavy. I was hoping my big heavy butt would lean the boat back a little more, but it's not bad. All right. No bad weather, no leak. I'm a wee bit nervous. Two hours or so with all this stuff in the boat. Oh, it'll be good though. Usually, it seems like every time I build a new boat, at some point toward the beginning of its life, I do something ridiculous in it. Like that time, just after I finished the shark slicer and I went to pick up some rocks and then drove home for three hours in a storm with like 3,000 pounds or so of cargo. But then after that, every time things started getting rough, I was like, wow, this thing made it through that ridiculous thing. So everything else should be a piece of cake. So yeah, if I can load this down this much and it makes it home no problem, which it probably will. Then I'll be able to look back every time I, I'm overloading the boat and just be like, oh, remember that time there were like stuff stuffed in the back and like things hanging over the sides? I made it that time, right? Right? Hey, I think I'll make it. It is a gorgeous day. So I'm going faster now than I was on the way here, using some batteries. On the way home, I really like to get like to the halfway point and then I feel like I can relax. Oh, I just broke into this bag here. It's cloth diapers, which are important and stuff. I was just hoping it was something I could play with while driving. Oh. And the next time my daughter asks me if I want a cushion for my butt, the answer is yes, I want a cushion for my butt. The wind is picking up a little. I'm starting to get some waves. Few are splashing in the boat. It isn't a serious problem yet or anything. But I'm kind of in a race to get to the uh, calm water before it gets bad out here. Flashing in the boat. Keep cruising, keep cruising, keep cruising. Just keep cruising, keep cruising, keep cruising. There's this cloud over here. Who's been sitting in front of the sun for about the last 40 minutes? This guy's driving me nuts. Whatever. When we get around this point up here, it's uh, smooth waters the rest of the way home. I'm starting to get delirious now. So I'm gonna remind myself of something for later. Okay, the waves hit these things and splash up and occasionally right into the boat. So do something with the top edge of this, like, or something to make the water go that way. That way, that way. Also, update the pedal propeller. Make it a lower pitch. 
So it's more uh, more effective at lower speed rather than the, the highest speed. Oh, I know what's going on with the propeller pitch. When I changed the gears, I went from 8 to 1 to 10 to 1. So now the propeller turns faster so it can be lower pitch. Right. Should be able to turn that there knob and motor home the rest of the way full power. I know it's silly. I could just turn on the motor for half speed the rest of the way, but that's not going to be satisfying. I got to get in range for full speed burn all the way home. Come on. Oh, come on. All right. From now until we get in range, no more stopping. And almost there. Come on, legs. Just get me up to that point up there. Once we round the bend, it's motoring time. to wait for the boat and it's weighed down a lot but I didn't at any point feel like I was in danger of sinking or anything man look how low that is yeah that went super uh, not having the phone with me so I could call ahead cost me at least half an hour maybe longer uh, during primo middle of the day sun time that's all right Got everything here. I can't believe I fit all that in the boat. Whatever. All right, I gotta unpack this and go get some water. Also, excellent first test. Totally passed the test. I could have asked for worse conditions, but I uh, I don't think I would have put more weight in the boat. Okay. Oh, I'm going delirious, going delirious. I'm getting super serious. I'm going delirious. I won't stop now. I won't stop then. I never stopped before and I don't think I can. Oh, I'm going delirious. I'm getting so delirious. Now I'm getting 